and welcome to my home art studio makeover. So basically a year ago, we moved into this apartment and honestly, the left tendons uh, left the apartment in questionable conditions. Um, these are photos of how the room looked like before. There was a broken mirror in there, a broken bed frame in there, and these curtain rods that were of metal, um, and don't get me wrong, I love some industrial, you know, accents, but this was just like weird, heavy, weird curtain rods. I've never seen anything like that. Anyways, so that was removed. So in the beginning, the room was used as a bedroom, so a new bed frame was put in there. The same one, but just not a broken one. Thankfully, the landlords took, you know, the broken mirror and the broken bed frame out. So yeah, there was already a double bed in there that took up quite a lot of space, and I painted the walls already this beige color, and the curtain rods were changed as well. But then I wanted to change it into this art studio slash guest room. So then the bed was just taking way too much space, you know, uh, taking up half the room. So I got rid of that and got this very nice bright yellow sofa bed, which is super cute. And I really like that. So I put that into the space and I saved so much space. So, you know, obviously it's a sofa bed, so you can open it up and use it as a bed. So I to have it in one of the corners um, so that it can easily be, you know, opened if it's needed. And there were already some drawers in the room, so I just also put that on the other side because I wanted to have uh, the workspace in the brighter side of the room near the window um, for the natural light and then everything else, um, you know, further into the room that didn't really need light as a functionality. Also, the place is rented, so I'm trying to keep it as rent-friendly as possible. Um, but I feel like anything I do just makes it better. Like, yeah, I think most of the things here is an upgrade rather than anything, but yeah, if he wants me to repaint the walls white, um, totally can. For example, not make too many drastic changes. Um, so I set up these cork boards as well that were already in there. And those are great to hang up your art pieces while you're letting them dry, um, or to just like work on them on the wall as well. It's really nice. And, or if you have some inspiration or anything, so they were already up there. Um, but I was like, I don't know, I wasn't really vibing with the color of it. I really like it, but then I think there were just too many different elements in a very small room and I just wanted to calm them down a bit. I had this spray bottle um, that was meant to create the stone color on it and um, so I tried doing that and that didn't work at all. I'm gonna be honest, that didn't work. Um, I used almost the whole bottle or basically I used the whole bottle and it wasn't even opaque, the texture was not texturing, the color was not coloring, I could see you know the cork through it, it was just not working out so I opted to paint them instead. I had some leftover paint from when I painted the walls in there so I just decided to paint the cork boards the same color um, and I needed to do two layers of all of them for it to actually be this opaque nice color um, and for it to blend properly in with the background and yeah so that's what I did I waited for the first layer to dry and then I painted it, all of them again and hung them back up so for the cork boards, I'd already hung them up with these IKEA sticky sticky hangers uh, so that the day I need to take them down, I don't have, you know, eight random holes in the wall. So I just hung them back on those and it looked amazing, honestly. So happy I did that. Such a quick and easy hack to completely transform that. So 
If you ever, if you have any cork boards or you're thinking of doing something similar in your space, totally recommend it. Or you can even paint it a completely different color, like a contrasty color. Um, whatever you want, really. But I really love the monochromatic look that it left when the cork boards were the same color as the background and I also feel like it kind of brightened up the space a bit as well because the cork is quite a deep you know burnt yellow color well burnt orange color so I really like how that turned out so when I finished that that was gonna be you know the end of this renovation makeover thing but the floor was not sitting right with me the floor was not flooring uh, the floor was just you no know, um, and don't get me wrong, I love a charming vintage floor, but that floor, I don't know whose idea that was, um, I don't know why it's been there for so long, at least why, why does it look like it's been there for so long, it's uneven, they have so many, like it's not, even not the colors even, but also like the height of them are not stacked properly, it's not installed correctly. Okay, I could go on for ages, I just didn't like the floors, and I never liked the floors. And especially with the yellow sofa, which on its own looks so cute. Um, it's so, you know, like it has such a pretty color. Um, and then the floors just took all that, you know, attention away from it which really annoyed me. So I spontaneously decided to buy these floor tapes to just put on the floors and stick on them so that I could create a more beautiful space. Also, the floors were just taking way too much light. They were storing so much light for a space that could be a lot brighter. And one thing that I did want for the space in general, as for using it as an art space, was having a slightly brighter space. So I found these ones with this white washed um, wooden texture. It's called Nordex. Um, and that was the brightest sticky, sticky floor I found without it being white, white, you know, I didn't want that. Um, so I just got it. I was in the process of painting for another project while they came in and then I yeah checked them out and I just got to work immediately so they're quite easy to stick on you basically just you know take off the plastic bit and then you just place them on the floor you just need scissors or a scarfel knife to cut off the edges so it's a very easy process it's just time consuming because the Pieces are quite thin and quite small compared to real wooden pieces that are usually, you know, a lot longer. And I think it fits very nicely with the colors of the walls and all of the other colors. And also it made the sofa pop so much more. And also it brightened up the space so much more. Now the light is reflecting from the floors as well. And I find that to be such you know, a more comfortable space to work in, especially when you're doing art and you'd like to see things in natural light. Like, they don't look perfect uh, because the floor underneath is uneven, as I said previously, and also some places I ended up getting air underneath, which was hard to get out. I also don't think the room is completely straight in every way, but no, that's another thing. But I'm very happy with how it turned out and I was able to do it in one afternoon. And you can obviously wash them and everything. They're supposed to be quite durable. Um, and I've already spilled some paint on them, which is, you know, nice for me because I don't really need to think about the floor underneath and ruining that, even though I'm like, could it get any worse? But anyways, at least I don't think <laughs> I don't need to think about that. Uh, if I spill on these floors, it doesn't even matter, uh, no matter what, because I'll just rip them off before I leave the apartment one day. So I used to have this big lamp there before, so I took that out 
Um, but the hook was still there. It's always been there since we moved in. So I just hooked up one of my macramés that I created during the COVID times, which is this two plant hanger, macramé hanger. Um, and I've had some pothos propagating for quite a while and their roots were definitely, they were rooting. There was a lot of roots. So it was about time to plant them somewhere. And I think it adds a bit of a cute little touch to the space, some greenery, you know. I love the greenery, so it's nice. So I think definitely compared to how the space looked like before, this is a complete transformation and I'm super happy with it now. I feel like it's such a inviting space to create and for me I like the minimalistic tone to it. I feel like it's a very calm space to enter and it also leaves a lot of room for your own inspiration and creativity and a lot of space to create so it yeah makes me happy going in there and making stuff. Okay so I'm gonna show you the final outcome. So you come in here and well let's go to the left first so that's the door and here i have storage unit that i moved from there to here hung up some flowers well plants that i've propagated and i made this macrame during COVID time so nice to actually use it and the sleeping bed and here is a full roll of canvas that i use to paint on and then i get it stretched later and going over here so i have most of my paintings i leave my acrylics here and also some oil pastels some pencils and stuff like that and then i have the whole cardboard no cork boards hanging here that i painted in the same color so i'm loving how this turned out and the table obviously that i like to use to paint on and also just as an office desk um, this one is from Ikea, you can just like tilt it up and down as you want to, which is very, very useful. And then we have the last quarter. Okay, so you can barely see me because the light is, I'm backlit right now, but that's fine. Um, I just have a little shelf here. I was planning to make several shelves, but it's really, really hard to drill through these walls and one was a struggle enough, so I stopped there. But that's enough to put some things that I don't necessarily want to have on the trolley. And then I have some paintings behind here that I already finished. And this one that I like to use to paint. <laughs> standing down, standing down, standing up or sitting down, anything. Um, so yeah, I like to switch between this one and that table to paint on. If I already have, you know, a uh, stretched canvas, then obviously this is a lot easier. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you found it interesting. Hope you found some tips or tricks for things you want to do yourself or don't want to do. That's fine too. And yeah, hope to see you on the next one.